Hi there, I'm Courtney Barker and welcome back to the Inside NRC Wrap. It was an eventful round of NRC Rugby on the weekend. Let's get straight into it. Queensland Country played first when they hosted Perth Spirit in Rockhampton as part of their 2015 Queensland Country Tour. It was a tough night for Country. Perth put the pressure on early as they got themselves deep into Country territory in the opening minutes. They capitalised with this rolling mall, sending Kane Koteka over. After the busy opening, things settled for a period until Perth stole the Country line out on the five metre line. Scrum half Ian Pryor was the beneficiary, scoring this one. Country fly half Sam Green hit back a few minutes later. A handy decoy run from number eight Ed Quirk gave Green a small chance and he took it with this try and the subsequent conversion taking the score 16 to eight. Perth closed out the half with a flurry of quick tries. This one to Marlonga Cornelio was the pick of them with the halftime score coming to 40 to eight to Perth. The Spirit opened the second half as they finished the first with quick tries making things tough for Queensland country. Country hit back though, Ruben Leilua got this one off the back of a strong pick and drive in the 52nd minute. The game slowed and became an arm wrestle once again in the second half with an impressive impact coming from the country bench. Scrum half and country captain James Tuttle took a quick tap before sending a barnstorming Taniella Tupo on his way to the line for this try. Country flanker James Turner crossed late in the match after running onto this great offload from Lagi Setu before an elusive Elliot Hagen linked up with Pierce Fitzgerald to score this try in the dying minutes. Full-time score, 64-34 to Perth. Brisbane City ran away with a good win over the New South Wales Country Eagles at Ballymore on Sunday Arvo, but it was the New South Wales Country Eagles that got off to a good start. Winger Jack Pennington opened the scoring with this try in the third minute, not long before flanker Paulie Tuala found space next to the ruck for this easy meat pie. Despite New South Wales Country's fast start, Brisbane City kept their structures and dominated the territory for the next period of the match. They were eventually rewarded through Scott Higginbotham with this try. Tuala hit back quickly for New South Wales Country, grabbing this try next to the post, but it was to be their last points for a while. In the 25th minute, Caden Neville again showed his breadth of skills with this deft and powerful run to the line from the 22. Not to be outdone by the forwards, the city backs got in on the action in the shadows of halftime. Samu Karevi took this ball over the game line before Junior Lalawefi and Chris Kiridrani combined with slick hands and great running to put Carmichael Hunt away for this try. Half time, 24-21 to City. The City boys turned it on in the second half. Stand-in skipper Nick Frisbee was unlucky not to score a spectacular try early on, but it certainly didn't matter in the end. Lalawefi was first over the line for City, as Higginbotham's skills at the back of the scrum and Frisbee's quick hands created this overlap. Kiridrani was next to score, he got this one out wide, but Karevi stepped things up a level just minutes later. By half, Jake McIntyre put this one up, and with men to beat in the corner, Karevi produced a spectacular dive, slamming the ball down for the try. Karevi got his double not long afterwards, and New South Wales country replacement back, Brogan Roods, added some respectability to the scoreline for country, but this long range try to City finished the game on a high. Higginbotham and replacement hooker Matt Murphy combined for good metres on the far touch line to set things up. Great hands from Michael Richards, Higginbotham again, McIntyre, Kiradrani, Karevi, Hunt and Lalawiffy got it out to unmarked flyer Alex Gibbon on the wing and it was Gibbon who put the icing on a ripper team try. Full time, 61-29 to City and another bonus point win. That's nine consecutive victories to City dating back to 2014. Well, it was a big day here at Ballymore on the weekend with the world's largest scrum prior to the game. When the scrum was formed, there were already 1,315 fans in the stadium and 700 had officially registered to take part. For logistical reasons, registration for the scrum were closed 20 minutes prior to it being formed, so we believe that there were over 1,200 participants. All latecomers were asked to register as they left the stadium after the game and the final figure is currently being tallied. If you arrived after 3.15pm, participated in the scrum, were unable to register as you left Ballymore on Sunday and wish to register online, please go to www.redsrugby.com.au and click on the scrum at registration button on the homepage. 
All registered participants, including those who registered after the event, will have their names added to a special St George Queensland Reds playing jersey that the team will wear in their game during the 2016 Super Rugby season. All funds raised or donated through the world's largest scrum event will go towards building the Scrum Monument to be built at Suncorp Stadium, which will represent the 133-year history of the Queensland Rugby Union. In the other matches of the round, the UC Vikings trounced the Sydney Stars 76 points to 16, while the Rising left it late to beat the Rams 37 points to 36. That left the ladder almost unchanged this week. Brisbane City have maintained their lead and sit clear at the top of the ladder on 24 points. The Canberra Vikings have stretched ahead of the Sydney Stars with 19 points to Sydney's 14. Melbourne Rising and the New South Wales Country Eagles follow in 4th and 5th on 12 and 8 points respectively. The Spirit sit in 6th on 6 points, followed by the Rays and Queensland Country on 5 points. The Rams round out the ladder in 9th. Let's check out the fixtures for round 6. Queensland Country have a short turnaround and make the trip to Newcastle to take on the New South Wales Country Eagles on Thursday night, with that game to be broadcast live on Fox Sports. That's the only game for our Queensland teams as Brisbane City have the bye. Elsewhere, the Rays take on the Vikings and the Spirit take on the Rising, both on Saturday Arvo, while the Stars host the Rams on Sunday. Our Ballymore Kid contenders got stuck in on the weekend. James Turner had a rip of the country with his late try, the highlight of a strong all-round game. It's another blind side flanker up in lights for City, with Luke Beecham getting his second feature for the year after a great showing at Ballymore. Elliot Hagen was solid at the back for country, diffusing multiple raids into country territory, and Alex Gibbon had immediate impact from the bench for City, with some telling plays late in the match. Well, that's how things went in round five over the weekend. Keep an eye out for Country's Game on Fox Sports on Thursday night. We look forward to seeing you next week on Inside NRC.